Let's go to Rick Reichmuth, uh, who is taking a look at some of these latest numbers that have just come in. Hi, Rick. A new update just out from the National Hurricane Center, a Cat 4 storm. So it has increased to a Category 4 storm. Uh, winds are at 130 miles an hour, so we have not seen any strength, uh, weakening of this storm. If you guys put up weather eight behind me, I'll show you a, a, a couple things here. But a category four hurricane right at landfall, a strengthening hurricane right at landfall is not what you want to see. A strengthening hurricane actually transports more of the winds down to the surface uh, and is a, a dangerous thing. We saw this with the Hurricane Charlie and Hurricane Wilma. And take a look at this imagery right here, Martha. We have a new satellite, GO-16. It's the first time we've seen a hurricane on it. This right here, you see all of the storms right around the center of it. Center of it just around 20 miles offshore. The eye wall is going to be moving right on shore here, kind of between Corpus Christi and up towards Port Lavaca. Not a lot of population right here, which is good news, but Corpus Christi right on one side of it, Port Lavaca right on the other side of it. That means that's where the strongest of the winds are going to be, and the storm surge already pulling in here, and in the next hour or so, uh, it's going to be catastrophic. This is now also moving much slower. So it's forward progression instead of being at 10 miles an hour is now at seven miles an hour. That means it's just a slower moving storm. We thought this was going to happen. That's saying eight miles an hour. I think it's seven actually. Uh, but it's going to continue to pull towards the northwest and eventually kind of stall out. But you get the idea. We uh, have seen the heaviest of the, at least on the radar imagery, the heaviest of the storms right on kind of the front side of it. It's filling in around again back on the other side. And if you've got uh, a strengthening storm, that certainly would be indicative of what we're going to see. Bad news for the storm surge right here. Uh, certainly in the short term, it's about to get really bad. The other bad news is the storm surge doesn't go away anytime soon because even though the storm kind of pulls offshore, it's moving so slowly and stalls and then drifts back towards the south again. And that means that we're going to continue to see an onshore flow here, continuing to keep all of that water in these bays. Storm surge, probably 12 feet. Imagine what that 12 feet, I'm almost six feet tall, double my height of a storm surge. And then rainfall totals three to four to five feet on top of that because the storm gets stuck here Wednesday into Thursday of this coming week, Martha. Uh, I mean, this thing built up a tremendous amount of force over the past 48 hours. Yeah. Now a Category 4 storm and something that uh, really nobody anticipated was going to get to this magnitude. But they are saying that they are as ready as they can be. Uh, Rick, thank you. We'll yeah, come back you to you as this develops.